So January marks a new year. There's new beginnings, and for some of us, there's also new endings. If you are experiencing a breakup, whether you're the person who did the breaking up or the one who is broken up with, I want to share some exercises on self-compassion with you to help you move through the pain. So if you're experiencing a breakup, whether you're the person who was doing the breaking up or the person who was broken up with, I have some really supportive tips on how you can be compassionate with yourself. Hi, I'm Rachel Overvall, a somatic sex coach with Modern Intimacy. This is Dolly, my dog who decided to join us as well today. And I really wanna support anyone who's in this season of going through grief, whether it's, again, because you made the decision to end the relationship or because someone else made the decision to end the relationship. There's a lot of grief that comes along with this loss. It's grieving someone who's still living. It's grieving the future that you plan together. It's grieving the plans that maybe you had next month that now you have to cancel. It's learning how to live again as a single person in this world, which is a really painful process at points. So I wanna talk today about something that I think is not talked about enough, which is self-compassion during the breakup process. It can be really easy to move through the breakup process and say things like, I shouldn't feel this way or I shouldn't say that, or I shouldn't go here, I shouldn't do this. All of those shouldn'ts are really our ego talking. And when our ego's talking, we're really moving into a lot of self-judgment. Self-judgment will never help us move through the breakup. It's never gonna help us get to the other side of it. In order for us to move through the pain, we really have to practice self-compassion. So self-compassion can look like, today I don't feel like getting out of bed and I'm gonna honor that. What can I do to help myself get out of bed? Instead of, I can't believe I don't wanna get out of bed, I'm such a lazy POS, or I can't believe I don't wanna do this, something's wrong with me. Those are all judgment, ego. All of those statements are things that are really gonna keep us stuck in the pain instead of helping us move through it. So the reframe could be, I really don't wanna get out of bed today. What could I do to bring some pleasure into my morning that would allow me the curiosity to want to get out of bed? That's self-compassion and a little bit of curiosity, which goes a long way with this process. Another example of self-compassion can be looking at yourself through the lens of all of the things you learned in the relationship instead of looking at the relationship solely from the pain. We learn a lot about ourselves in relationships. We learn a lot about who we are, how our trauma impacts us. We learn about, about our triggers. We also have the opportunity to practice the skills that we've been learning in relationship. So instead of looking back on the relationship and looking at only the pain, use the reflection of the relationship to be compassionate and celebratory of all the things you've learned. Maybe the things in which you did differently in this relationship that you're really proud of that you hadn't done previously or maybe celebrating the ways in which you stood up for yourself. Maybe just being compassionate about the fact that you love someone really deeply and that's a really beautiful gift in this world. That's another example of how you can offer yourself compassion. As you're moving through the pain, I really want to remind you that the way in which you become the next version of yourself is through honoring the version of yourself that you are today. And sometimes that version of yourself that you are today will be pain. Sometimes it will be anger. Sometimes it will be jealousy. How can you honor the emotions as they come up without reacting to them? How can you honor that this is just where I am at today and this is the emotion I'm choosing to move through instead of react to? If you want more support about self-compassion or tips on how to get through your breakup, I have an incredible book called The Breakup Journal. It has over 50 exercises, both somatic, processing, and journaling to help you move through the breakup, move through the pain, and get to the other side, to the next version of yourself.